sense For a duck may be sun but his mother Be kind to your friends from the swamp Where the weather is cold and damp Be kind to your friends at the pond For the goose may be sun but's brother Be kind to the frogs and those with the fins so they want you to come back again. Be kind to your web-footed friends. For a duck may be somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp. Where the weather is cold and damp. Now you may think it's the end. Well, it is. Finley and his friends are visiting the Cradle Mountain. They each found many good spots to find what could be hidden. Let's see what we can find, said Finley. So they did. Huh? 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 Go! Huh? Suddenly, they saw a sign put in the area. It said, Look out for dry leaves. That's odd, said Finley. I've been listening to my radio saying about a bushfire. What's a bushfire? asked Scotty. Well, <clears throat> it's kind of a new description. A bush gets burnt and the flames grow big, eating anything out of wood and not out of wood, Finn explained. It's a good thing we found our hidden roots. We can do a carrot. Shall we find the leaves? asked Gobby. It's more cleaning up for me. Let's split up. Good luck finding the leaves. So they began searching. They came back empty, not full. But Gorbit didn't. He was gone for what seemed an hour. I hope he's not stuck, said Isabel. Well then, let's find him, said Finley. Aha! Uh -huh. He went in the woods. Gorby was looking at a big pile of leaves. It looked too big to be moved. He wanted to take it, but soon realised one truck isn't enough. Not to mention all the leaves were dry and could cause a bushfire. He noticed a track that was nearby. We Georgia can take it, thinks Gorby. I hope we can beat the fire. The others arrived. What have you found, Gorby? said Finley. This pile, Finley. It's too big for me to take. Plus the leaves are dry said Gobby. I don't want to disappoint the job, Gobby, but we George is away and he's taken the trucks, said Scooty. Hmm, I suppose 
we shall have to take it. So they cleared up the pile. Just then they saw Dexter who drove up. What are you guys doing? he said. We're cleaning up the leaves, Dexter, said Scooty. But it's so big. See? I'll give you a hand. We can get it all gone. Finley thought it a great idea. So they started cleaning up. Quickly. Once it was cleaned up, they took it to the tip. As they drove onto the main road, they noticed a fog lurking about the landscape, which got them put off. Hello, hello, said Finley. It's a smoke hazard. I can smell it. Oh dear, said Gobby. Is it just a fact that something is burning? I think you may be right about it. Look up there. They stopped at Mount Farrell. There was smoke lurking from the top. There must be a fire burning. Come on, we better see what we can do. They came to the quarry and found where the fire was burning from. An old truck was alight, and we Georgie, who was supposed to take it, was in a safe distance. We better help him, said Gobby. Let's put the leaves on the flames. They're wet from the mud. Good idea, Gobby. Quickly now, said Finley. Here's mine, right Dexter. They began putting the damp leaves on the truck, putting out the flames, making them shrink. At last, it was out. Phew! Thanks you lot, said we Georgie. The sparks from my funnel set the truck ablaze. I was to take it to the tip, but it's not going anywhere. A good thing we notice the smoke, we Georgie, said Finley. That's what fire engines are for, plus a rubbish and dump truck. We can all take it to the tip, said Scooty. They took all the burnt rubbish and set off to the tip, after saying goodbye to each other. <laughs> That's my difference of dumping. <laughs> And isn't he? At the end of the day, they went home to Kingston Town. I wonder what adventures we can find next, said Gobby. I like visiting Tulla. We might visit Booney Island next, said Finley. We might find another place to visit. 
Or maybe Cambridge. There's an airport we haven't visited, said Isabel. The friends all thought the same thing. I know a plane that lives there. We can find him to see what surprises he's got, said Finley. So do we, said his friends. It'll be great fun. I wonder what they're planning. Be kind to your web for kids friends. For a duck, maybe some dog is mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp. Where the weather is cold and damp. Be kind to your friends at the pond. For the goose, maybe some bird's father. Be kind to the frogs and those with the fins. So they want you to come back again. Friends. For a duck, maybe somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp, where the weather's cold and damp. Be kind to your friends at the pond. For the goose, maybe somebody's father. Be kind to the frogs and birds with the fins, so they want you to come back again. Be kind to your web-footed friends For a duck, maybe somebody's mother Be kind to your friends from the swamp Where the weather is cold and damp Now you may think it's the end Well, it is! 